I am the true vine, and my Father is a vine dresser. I am the vine, you are the branches. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit he prunes that it may bear more fruit. Abide in me and I in you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. Well, I mentioned to you last week that I know nothing about grapes, vineyards, branches, vines, so, Joe and I thought, what if we actually would go to one? So we went out to uh, the north side of Fort Wayne to Country Heritage Vineyards, and we just thought we'd talk with someone regarding this, and so we met a fellow named Kevin who's worked here, and he has something to share with us about this. So, so this is impressive. How, wow. many, how many acres? We, of curr we currently vines? have about 30 total acres. Only eight and a half is here at the winery. We've got another uh, 10 acre vineyard across the way, and then an additional uh, 14 or so over at uh, the owner's house. Okay. So, so as I look at these, what kind of grapes are these? This here? is Marquette. This is a uh, Minnesota variety, uh, French hybrid, very disease resistant. You can see right here, we're starting to get some color. Okay, so it is a red grape. Mm -hmm. It's going through verasion, which is nothing more than the color change. What does it take to get healthy grapes? It takes a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work? <laughs> a lot of luck. Yeah. Uh, you need great weather. Uh, matching the, the right vine to the right spot of ground is very important. Mm -hmm. You need a good vineyard crew. You got, it's not something that you can plant and walk away from. Uh -huh. uh, you need to be out there tending it. Tell me about the, it looks like the connection point between the vine itself and the branch. Yes. Tell me about well, the connection well, point. Well, what we're doing here is we're actually bringing two trunks up, which is, it's, it's kind of symbolic in the fact that it does look like a cross. Yeah. Uh, this cane will come up along this wire, the other one will come up here, and then from that, the individual shoots will, uh, from what we prune, that is, will then grow and then produce the grapes. So pruning is really important part? Pruning is crucial. Uh, we usually start in February sometime, work through spring. It's hard work, it's rough, the weather's terrible. But when you have a large vineyard like this, you've got to start early because you've got to get it done before uh, the grapes start growing. As it relates to the, the whole nutrition of the grapes, they're taking in nutrition from the soil, they're taking yeah. in nutrition. Soil is everything. Uh, you can definitely plant the wrong variety on the wrong spot of ground. You know, we're in the Midwest, we, we make a lot of sweet wine. So we have the luxury, if things don't work out just perfectly for us and the acids are too high, we can, we can add some sugar and, and make a sweeter wine. But when you're trying to make a dry wine, which means no sugar in the finished product, uh, that's definitely very challenging. And you hope that you know uh, what you've planted and that particular vintage will be a good one for you. So you don't have to work really hard yeah. in the winery. Yeah idea of rest or dormancy? Uh, Once the grapes are picked, uh, in which our harvest usually starts in September, maybe early October when we pick the last one, uh, then the vine will slowly start to shut down because it's done what it has intended to do, which is ripen grapes. And balance is important. If I have too many grapes on that vine and it tries to ripen them and it can't do it, the vine will actually sacrifice itself to ripen those grapes. And if we have a bad winter, uh, it'll go into winter uh, depleted and it will end up probably dying if we have a wow. you know, below zero temperatures. Wow. So vine balance is important. We don't want to, to overexert the vine. We don't want to push it. Uh, we want it to be just perfect. So as you consider future growth, I'm guessing there are times that you have to severely cut things back? Yeah, it, it, obviously in the spring when you're pruning, uh, you're gonna cut off probably 80%. It's almost like you're destroying yeah. the thing. It does. There's a lot of people that'll come in and say, oh, what are you doing to it? And it's like, I, I'm doing what the vine needs. Wow. Because if I don't prune it 
and things get out of control, then the vine is gonna be out of balance. It's gonna go through struggles through the growing season and I don't want it to struggle. It's great.